Let's take a live look outside on this Friday morning. It is a first alert weather day. Really pretty from that live view there, but you see Old Glory flying in the wind there on some winds, and they're cold outside. We saw our buddy Lauren Toms out at Oracle Park. She was wearing gloves. Jess, those gloves are for a reason. Oh, absolutely. Not just style, right? I mean, <laughs> definitely functionality as well. And that's the case for us this morning. It's a little bit chilly out there still. Actually, a lot of it chilly. Let me show you your daytime highs in just a second. We're starting off with cloudy skies down into the Santa Clara Valley. Such a beautiful picture this morning, though. We still have some active weather in the forecast for us later today. But let's start off with what's going on right now throughout the Bay. 50s this afternoon, anywhere from San Jose, stretching off into the East Bay. For our friends just across that Bay Bridge from Oakland into San Francisco, we've kind of been flirting with the 50s all week long so nothing new along the peninsula. But for our inland areas, yes, welcome to peninsula weather. It is chilly and we are cold. Let's take a quick look at what's going on as we head into this afternoon. I'm going to drop these temperatures real fast, and I want to show you our first alert Doppler. So a little bit of activity in the forecast for us this morning. You can see that rotation of this area of low pressure sitting just over us right now. Notice the winds kind of sweeping to the north with all that snow up near the Sierra. And then on the back end of it, all the winds are sweeping to the south just offshore with more scattered showers and some thunderstorm activity in central California. But back here in the bay, we're kind of in the mix of it. We're going to see some on and off showers in the forecast for us. Day really light in the grand scheme of things compared to yesterday, but it's still worth noting that there is some active weather, for example, down near Santa Cruz, just along that coastline there and some snow falling currently up near Santa or actually near Mount Hamilton. Now, as we take a look at future cast, we'll continue to watch these showers kind of build in at times in our inland areas throughout this afternoon. This is by two o'clock, about a tenth of an inch of rain throughout some pockets of the Bay Area. Here we go into the nine o'clock hour. Notice how the East Bay and down into the Santa Clara Valley gets hit with just a little bit more compared to the rest of us. We'll stay dry up in the North Bay and then we'll see drier conditions in the forecast for us tomorrow, which is kind of perfect because the Padres are playing the Giants and the Padres are going to lose against the Giants and we're going to have beautiful weather to accompany that. It is still chilly, though, like I mentioned. I mean, we just talked about 50s for our daytime highs, and I want to show you what's happening for us as we extend into the next seven days. There's some big changes around the corner, and it's all thanks to high pressure. What does that even mean? Okay, well, as high pressure builds its way in, it dries us up. So we're going to see drying conditions as early as tomorrow. And notice how we return into the 60s this weekend. By, like, early next week, Monday, Tuesday, we hit the 70s, and then suddenly we're talking about 80s as we wrap up next week, which is just something to look forward to, considering the fact that this weather was not necessarily welcomed. Of course, we are still dealing with those chilly temperatures for our friends along the bay too. Cloudy showers in the forecast for us throughout the evening hours tonight, still along our coastline, and then we'll see drier conditions into the rest of this week. And partly cloudy skies filling the bay next week, but at least it's going to be a lot warmer for us.